Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today, just out in the field, as you can see, it's quite misty. Well, over there it's quite misty. Uh, which means dew. First subject, there's a little red beetle um, chilling there. I'm, uh, I've got these new backgrounds here. I wanted to try them out. Got my old backgrounds in my bag still, so um, if these aren't too good, I can always use my old ones. Good thing about these is that you can kind of rest them on the top of grass like this. It's all like that. You couldn't do that with the uh, the card. I'm just gonna change my magnification to one to two. Try and get the beetle without startling it. Moving around a little bit now, because I've touched the grass. He is walking along this grass, so this might only be a single shot unless he stays still. But you know, single shots do look good as well. All right, so I've got a little snail here. There are any photograph snails really. I don't actually think I've got any photos of snails. I might actually, take the uh, bit of grass it's on. Don't know how this will work, because it's, it's a bit easier with the, um, the card backgrounds, I think. Holding it up like this, I might have to move this towards me, and then hold this like that. Oh, that works all right. And then I need to rest it on my arm. This is very, this is quite awkward. I might have to put the background on floor. Actually, I could rest it there and then move this down here. That should work. Now I can get more stable. That should do. All right, so I just found a little shield bug thing. Uh, not sure what they're called. It's like a. I don't actually find these that often, but years ago, like 2019 or 2020, I found quite a few of these. It's on the end of this bit of grass here. Um, this is quite a small bug, so I think I'll go on the maximum mag magnification with the Rainox on. And I'm just going to hold the end of the grass like that so it's stable. Bring it down, put my elbows on my knees, on my thighs, and then get the shot. So literally just stepped um, like two steps from the last shot. And I found another one of those beetles, but this one's green and it's a lot smaller. The last one was small as well. So this one's minuscule. I'm just gonna rest it on here like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Grab the end like that, come down here and then get stable. What I like to do is rest my camera on my hand while holding the grass, then I'll let the camera do its automatic focus bracketing. This one's got quite a bit of dew on it as well, and looks nice. So there's a some sort of beetle thing on here, and these are quite skittish. Like I'm just looking at it and it's spotted me and it seems to move its legs about quite a bit. Um so this might end up only being a single shot. I might not even get a shot at all, who knows? But uh, I'm just gonna place my background here like that. And I'm going to shoot this slightly less magnified. I've got the Rainox on, so I have to um, change the magnification here. The one to two with the Rainox on is actually like one to one or something like that. I don't like taking the Rainox off just because I, I use it so much. I might have to zoom out a little bit more. We'll go to one to four with the Rainox on. That means I can get the whole bug in. I'll go to one over 64 on the flash. Another snipe fly. I photographed quite a few of these recently. In my last video, I got a jibby one with a red background. And I was a bit annoyed with the red background. I think red was a bad decision. Uh, it's in a, a bit of an awkward spot. I'm gonna have to like put this here. God's sake, it's flew away. Where is it gone? Well, it looks like we're not getting a snipe fly today. Just spotted a leaf hopper, frog hopper. I'm not sure what, I, I, I always call them leaf uppers, but I think people call them frog uppers, unless that's a different bug. This one's quite small. Um, I'm gonna try use the green background, see how that looks. I haven't used this green one yet. Oh, okay. He just jumped over there. I have no idea where he's gone now. Oh, it always scares me because I was, I was like holding the leaf it was on. So I felt the vibration, it like, it scared me that did. 
another leaf hopper. Hopefully this one doesn't move. I'm just going to change magnification. It's quite a small bug, so... Oh, oh it's gone. <laughs> I got one photo, it wasn't at a magnification I wanted, but um, yeah, while we're here, we're going to get that mayfly, those mayflies. So I'm going to take my Rainox off because I'm going to have to get this whole thing in frame. I'm just going to go for the green background, I think. Or I might not use a background, actually. I'll see what it looks like without a background. If I use, if, if use a smaller aperture, I'm going to use um, F4. This might look a bit better, might blur the background a bit more. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to get um, a close-up as well. I won't use the Rainox for this. It's kind of weird how it's just like they mate and they just like chill there. They're just hanging. There's a lot of bugs around here just flying. We're getting attacked trying to do this. Don't know what it is about today, but there's bugs flying everywhere. There is a weevil down here and I'll, I think I'm not going to use a background because there's quite a lot of grass close to it so it might it might have a nice background with the natural leaves that's a little bit dark so I'm gonna go to one of the 32 on the flash and then I'm gonna just maneuver in here I'm gonna grab the plant it's on There is a cucumber spider on the end of this leaf here and it's running about a little bit so I'm not sure if this will work. I'm going to place my background here and if I want to use it I can bend this branch down and then use that as the background but I don't think I'll need a background. My settings seem all right. I'm going to go to f5.6 actually. Yeah, it's in a really awkward spot now. Okay, that is gone. I did get a couple shots though. Um, not as good as I thought. Uh, what is this? I don't even know what these are called. It's like a, it's some sort of shield bug, I think. A brown one. And they're quite, from what I know, they're quite skittish. So I'm just moving bits of the plant out of the way so I can get a clear shot. So I'll keep it rolling upside down. Because it can't, when I rotate it, it can't balance on it. I'm gonna change magnification. I'm gonna try and get like a quite a magnified shot of this. All right, so I just swapped my flash battery, so I don't have to wait for it to reach um, cool down a little bit. I thought it was my SD card holding me back, but it's actually the um, the uh, flash. It's a bit bright. I should have worked out pretty well. So we just found a sawfly chilling in this buttercup. Quite like um, photographing things when they're in flowers. It just adds that little bit more detail to the shot, you know, getting the, the buttercup details. Now its face is kind of covered by one of the petals. I'm just going to place my background. Probably won't need a background, but got one anyway. Uh, one over 64 on a flash. I'm going to go to one to one with the Rainox on. I can get like a side angle if I want to get the eye, so. That should be good. I'm going to try and get another composition quickly. I was about to call the outro there, but I just saw a muff, um, got a bit distracted. Yeah, I'm going to call uh, today's video there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share. 
all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.